Ryan Jelly and today I'm going to perform hand washing before performing stereo skill. Okay, the first step is to state the objectives of the procedure. What is the objectives of this procedure? To, redu to reduce the number of microorganisms in the hands and to reduce the number of the risk transmission of inspection, transmission of microorganisms to the client. And if you're washing your hands in front of the client or that where the clients can observe you, you can introduce yourself and explain to the client why it is necessary. This will facilitate and enhance cooperation of the patient. And the, then, secure consent for the sterile procedure per, as per the institution policy. Consent serves as, as the permission to perform such as that procedure. And then, Remove all jewelries in the hands. Microorganisms can lodge in the setting under the rings, under jewelries and rings, and then boost face masks and cup snugly. Because this, this procedure, the rationale of this procedure, because you must not, not touch anything and sterile once you do, once you done hand hygiene. And then prepare all the materials and equipment needed for the entire procedure observing sterile technique. It saves time and effort. And then, next step is position yourself in front of the sinks with the higher hands in, than the elbow. The sink is considered contaminated. Clothing may, clear, may carry microorganisms from place to place. Turn on the faucet and adjust flow and temperature. Warm water remove, removes less protective oil of the skin than hot water. Wet hands and forearms thoroughly holding them under wrapping water, letting it run from the fingertips to the elbow. Like this. Water runs from the area that now has the fewest microorganisms to areas with relatively greater numbers of pathogens. Apply 4 to 5 ml of liquid soap firmly. Rub between hands while holding hands higher than the elbows. wash dirt residing in, in the hands. A good amount of soap is required to create a lather. Totally washes hands and rinse, rinse hands. Rinsing the soap removes the lather which may contain my, microorganisms. Use, uses firm rubbing and circular movement to, to wash the palms the back of the hands do it the aerobic motion for five times the wrist of each hand circular motion including the heels of the hand the circular action creates friction that helps removes microorganisms mechanically. Interlace the fingers by both hands and thumbs
move hands, the hands back and forth, interlacing the fingers and thumbs cleans the intergibital spaces. Right palm over left dorsum with interlaced finger, fingers and vice versa. Interlacing the fingers and thumbs cleans the interdigital spaces. Palm to palms with fingers interlaced. Interlacing the fingers and thumbs cleans the interdigital spaces. The back of the fingers opposing the palms with finger lace inter interlaced. Interlacing the fingers and thumbs cleans the interdigital spaces. Rotational loving, rubbing of the left thumb flaps in the right palm, vice versa. Continue this motion for about 30 seconds. Rub the fingertips. The circular action creates a friction that helps remove microorganisms mechanically. Rub the fingertips against the palm of the opposite hand, vice versa. Rinsing the nails and fingertips are commonly missed during hand hygiene. Press the hands thoroughly. Rinsing the soap removes the latter, which may contain microorganisms. Dry hands and arms thoroughly. Moist skins become chopped and readily as dust dry skin that rubs, rubs vigorously. Chopping produces lesions. Use a separate towel to dry each hand and arm through a rotating motion from fingers down to the elbow. A clean towel prevents to the transfer of microorganisms from one elbow to the other hand. Turn off the faucet using new paper towel to grab the hand operated control. This prevents the nurse from picking up microorganisms from the faucet handles. And then the next step is don sterile gloves before touching any sterile items. This step prevents contamination of the hands and adheres the principle of sterile technique.
then the next step is document in the client's chart that sterile technique was observed in the performance of the procedure document the time sterile procedure was started at the time of the sterile procedure is it was finished and then the physician who did not who did the procedure